Hey everyone, this is once again David DeFranco from Squarespace Summit with another Squarespace tutorial to make your Squarespace website that much better. So in today's tutorial, we're going to quickly describe how to customize your website's footer. And we have to be honest, this is not immediately obvious and that's exactly why we're creating this tutorial to make it easier for you, the website manager or content creator. So to get started, you will want to make sure you're logged into your Squarespace account. And now the quickest way of finding out whether you're logged in is if you see a small content manager view down here in the bottom right corner. And now once you are logged in, we'll want to enter into the edit content mode by clicking the pencil icon. And now let's scroll down to the very bottom of our website. And now this is where it gets interesting. It's not obvious right away. But once you do it the first time, you'll have no problem doing it a second time, a third time, and so on. And that is to simply hover over your footer, like so. And that's it. We have the complete ability to edit and customize our footer right here within a live view of our website. And now for this video's example, let's just insert a new line of text saying this is an example line of text hello Squarespace Summit fans and click save and there you go it really is that easy I mean there's really nothing else we can say about that of course this comes down to what you want to put into your footer and what you're gonna get out of it but it is important to mention if you do want to include links in your footer you can by simply highlighting any word and clicking this small link icon, then inserting said link. So let's put in sbasesummit.com. We'll want to open that in a new window. And you can also insert files or do a direct link to existing pages or content on your website. But again, just for this video's example, let's simply do this, save. Clicking the word Squarespace now takes you to Squarespace Summit. It really could not get easier, so we really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any tutorial requests, please do not hesitate to comment below. So until next time, stay tuned for plenty more Squarespace tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.